I would say it's the only thoughtful news show in, uh, in Boston. They've been out in the street, both of them. They, they know what news is, what's important news, what's minutiae. They, uh, they're good. Uh, I think the, the 10 o'clock news does a wonderful job of sifting out the, uh, the rather drab, unimportant news and concentrates on four or five good stories. But they know how to concentrate on uh, what's important. The 10 o'clock news on Channel 2 with Christopher Lydon and Carmen Fields. Chris Lydon has got the best uh, network of experts from the universities, from the political world, both sides of the political fence, from the, uh, from the business world of anybody in America. Uh, he, and these, these Q&A uh, uh, and these uh, uh, pro and con debates he has, uh, just a most illuminating kind of way to sort things out in a difficult story. The 10 o'clock news on Channel 2 with Christopher Lydon and Carmen Fields. Well, as a as a cab driver, uh, I get up five five thirty in the in the morning, and uh, I'm not usually up till the uh, eleven o'clock news. So uh, this way, I get the ten o'clock news, good local coverage, and hey, I get an extra hour of beauty sleep. The ten o'clock news on Channel Two, with Christopher Lydon and Carmen Fields. I watch the 10 o'clock news because I want to know what's going on in the world, and I think Chris does a nice job in writing about it. He's a real journalist who has had newspaper experience as well as, now, of course, now a lot of television experience as well. He has interesting guests who can fill in the gaps behind the news. I think Carmen Fields is a delightful newscaster. I think she knows what she's talking about, too. I think it's a very authoritative newscast, and I feel like I've really learned something after I've watched it. The 10 o'clock news on Channel 2 with Christopher Lydon and Carmen Fields.
I like Chris Lydon because I can respect him. He's not just a pretty boy, although heavens knows he's gorgeous and all that. But he's had a, an ex experience as a re newspaper reporter. He's had a lot of experience on television news. He writes beautifully. He knows what a story is. He is a real journalist. And I can watch him and, and feel that here's a, a man who's credible who knows what he's talking about. I'm really finding something out as a result of his knowledge. The 10 o'clock news on Channel 2 with Christopher Lydon and Carmen Fields. coverage on the 10 o'clock news it's it's uh, on WGBH it's um it's very reasoned it's very well balanced uh, it covers local issues and national issues and in a way where you don't feel like you're just getting the the sugar-coated administration's current view of of the news you're getting a a real look at both sides and it lets you think about things I think in a little different way I, I think it's thought-provoking the 10 o'clock news on Channel 2 with Christopher Lydon and Carmen Fields. I think it provokes a lot of, of thinking or thoughtfulness about current issues that you, you might not, that might just pass you by in, in the normal course of things. You know, a lot of things that they address in the news, I, I'm not aware of or I don't recognize the significance to me until I, I hear their view. You know, and then I start to think about them. The 10 o'clock news on Channel 2 with Christopher Lydon and Carmen Field. I watch it for both information and interpretation. A colleague of mine in a puckish mood uh, once parodied the graduates of a progressive school by saying, I, know, I, I don't know the facts, but I can tell you their significance. Of course, we need both, and we get both on the Channel 2 News. Moreover, it's about both the city and the world, as the Vatican would say, urbe at Orbe, and uh, you can't be more comprehensive than that. The 10 o'clock news on Channel 2 with Christopher Lydon and Carmen Fields. I would recommend the 10 o'clock news because in this community there are a great many knowledgeable people, many experts, even a few wise people, and they seem to find their way 
to the 10 o'clock news under the shepherding of Chris Lydon and Carmen Fields. The 10 o'clock news on Channel 2 with Christopher Lydon and Carmen Fields. Well, first of all, the guy knows enough about the subject to have the right person there to interview. Secondly, he asks a question. He's obviously grounded enough in the material to engage in real give and take. And he's not just asking a bunch of potted questions. I mean, where else can you get a guy who reads the news and seems to know what he's talking about? The 10 o'clock news on Channel 2 with Christopher Lydon and Carmen Fields. I watch the 10 o'clock news because I know I can trust Chris Lydon and Carmen Fields to tell me what the important stories are and why they're important. The 10 o'clock news on Channel 2 with Christopher Lydon and Carmen Fields. The 10 o'clock news to me goes beyond the headlines goes beyond the front page and it gives you it's more like the editorial page and it gives you a sense of the issues in depth uh, interesting points of view points of view that aren't expressed anywhere else on, on television news today the 10 o'clock news on channel 2 with Christopher Lydon and Carmen Fields I watch the 10 o'clock news because I have a sense that there's a real intelligence behind the criteria, the news criteria at work. You know, you watch the other stations, you'll see Mike Dukakis and Billy Dulger, but you watch 10 o'clock news and you'll see the head of the local chapter of the Mass Tenants Organization in the neighborhoods or Fair Share, and you get the sense of the underlying structure of these issues that cause it to be of any relevance to listen to the governor or Billy Bulger. Great news show, I love it. The 10 o'clock news on Channel 2 with Christopher Lydon and Carmen Fields. I like Chris Lydon because he seems to be connected to what he's talking about. I mean, there's a definite engagement. I feel as though his mind is working. I feel as though he's got something at stake. And it's not just intellectual, he's really feeling the subject. I also find the news uh, um, delivered with style and substance. There's not a lot of bell ringing, and a lot of girdle salesmen talking haircuts, giving you um, kind of show business. I think it's uh, edited uh, with, with unpretentiousness and, and grace. It reminds me of what newscasting uh,